All right, so here is the um, last video that I'm going to show. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the overall energy savings calculation for this lab. All right, so here I have, I'm, I'm going to let you fill in the rest of these um, cells here and the rest of these cells here, but I'll at least do these two rows, okay? So um, nice thing about Excel is if I'm, I can copy and paste multiple cells. So if I just highlight these, so I, I, I left click, hold it down, highlight it, okay? And then I can hit, um, I don't even know where the copy is, but, um, I, oh yeah, copy. You hit copy or you hit control C. You see it puts it in dashed lines. So now I know what I've copied. And I can go in here and just hit, um, probably paste, sorry, hit paste or hit control V. So now it did everything for me. All right. So I, what I want to do is I want to figure out how much energy I'm saving, how much money I'm saving. Um, and so really what I need to do is I'm going to need to, okay, so here's my, for the living room ceiling light, my original use is 1,020 kilowatt hours a year, and then I dropped it to 1112. Total cost went from 142 to 15, and then the carbon footprint went 0.765 to this. So I need to, it's really easy, right? I need to subtract this from this to figure out my savings. And so here's what I'm going to do. Um, instead of retyping all that, I can actually um, hit an equal sign, and I don't need to put a formula in here. So my current, notice this is the current energy use. I can just click on here, under current use, boom. And you can see it says J9, which highlights that cell. So if I hit enter, now it enters in whatever in that cell. So what's really cool about this is, um, again, let's say you had to update any number of uh, any part of this calculation. If this number changes, it'll automatically change this number. And also, since the next number down is there, I can just take this and drag it down, right? And so now if I check what that did, it dragged it down to this one here. Okay, so it's all relative. Um, and also, it just so happens that this cell is to the right of this cell, so I can actually drag across here. That's my energy cost, and that's my carbon footprint, right? So let's just double check to make sure that worked. Yep, it worked. So now I can do the same thing, and believe it or not, I can actually highlight two cells like this, drag them down, double check my work, everything checks out, okay, and we're good to go. Um, so the beauty of this is that, um, I can change that formatting is that instead of retyping this information, if I do this, let's say I just, I, I do all my work and I'm like, hey, I'm done, this is great. And then I realize that I messed up one little number, okay? Let's say it's, I don't know, the watts per fixture. Maybe I just, there's a typo in there. So if I need to update this, because all these formulas here, all these numbers are based on using formulas with this in it. So watch what happens to like, I'm going to highlight these cells. We'll highlight this cell here. Highlight this cell down here. Okay. I'm going to highlight, um, yeah, so that's good. So if you look at those cells right now, if I, if I change this, let's say it should only be 200. Okay, so I type it in 200. You notice these all changed automatically. So I'm going to undo that and watch how this, watch how these change, right? I'm going to redo it. See? So that's the beauty of this is that if you if you use your formulas and you tie it to other information, then you can change. If you made a mistake, you can go back really easily. But I I didn't make a mistake, did not make a mistake. So I'm going to change it back to 300 and I'm good. And actually unhighlight the cells. Okay. So now I have this, okay? Now my proposed use, again, this is for the first fixture, so I just hit equals. There's my current energy use. Hit enter. Now I can drag that down. Good, and I can actually drag this over if I want to. Good. This would be highlight that. It's my dollar sign. Good. Okay. Now the last thing, now I have, now I can quickly enter in all the data that I've already calculated and it saves me a ton of time. So now what I want to do is calculate my actual savings, energy use, energy cost, carbon footprint. Okay, 
Sorry about that. Um, and so now all I need to do, so my energy savings is going to be my current use in energy minus my proposed use, right? So this reduction here is my savings. So all I need to do is equals this minus this. There you go. And then again, I can drag down, double check to make sure that worked, click up here. So it's this minus this, we're good. So that, at the end of the day, we saved almost a little over 900 kilowatt hours a year just from one fixture, 300 and another. And then again, we can take, now we need to subtract this from this, this from this, right? So I'll just type that in again. It's, it's this minus this, right? There you go, drag that down. And now this one is this minus this for our savings. Okay, and drag that down. There you go. So now you can do that for all of these cells. So again, the great thing is you can now fill in these retroactively, then fill in all of these retroactively, and then you can just keep dragging these formulas down, uh, and that will um, enable you to complete this um, audit. But the last thing I want to point out is to make sure you don't forget. So now I have a bunch of savings here. And so at the when I'm done with everything, I'll have savings in all of these. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you add these up, right? So add it up. That's this plus this. Or you can use the sum, right? So that's ultimately what you're trying to get to. You're trying to figure out, to, out of, it, when I change all the lights, turn, turn them off or do whatever, what's my total annual savings? in use, my total annual savings in cost, my total annual savings in carbon footprint. So don't forget to do that uh, for the lab. Uh, and that's it for this tutorial.